Hello everyone. In the Legacy Vintage Hotels Part 1, we had discussed what actually the Legacy Vintage Hotels are, how are they classified into subcategories, what are the subcategories, what is the fee structure for the subcategories, who all constitute the committee that classifies the Legacy Vintage properties and general terms and conditions that a hotel needs to fulfill so as to get classified as a Legacy Vintage Hotel. Today, we are going to talk about the general services and facilities uh, that are to be there in the hotel so as to classify them as legacy vintage properties, the cuisine, the basic sizes of rooms and bathrooms in square feet, the basic criteria for air conditioning of hotels, the percentage of skilled staff that the hotel requires to be classified as the Legacy Vintage Hotel and the room for differently abled guests. We're talking about the general facilities. Like any other hotel, this hotel also has to have a reception information and cash counter available at the front desk. Now, they have to be manned by trained professionals, trained professionals. There has to be money changing facilities and left luggage facilities. Left luggage facilities are for those guests who willingly leave their luggage to, with the hotel and maybe they go for an excursion, comes back, take their luggage and take the flight to the next destination. Now, they should all have well-furnished, well-equipped and well-maintained dining rooms. A bar is desirable for the Legacy Vintage Basic property. However, it's necessary for Legacy Vintage Classic and Grand properties. Kitchen should be professionally designed and trained staff should be managing the kitchen or making the dishes. Drinking water must be bacteria free. It should be very pure and for that the hotel must have a filtration or a purification plant for it. There has to be a three tire washing system which will include running hot and cold water also. Now there has to be a standby generator or a power backup in the hotel so that and it should be able to manage every thing in the hotel including refrigeration and air conditioning. Now those were the general facilities. Now let's talk about the general services that has to be there in the hotel so as to be classified under these categories. Now this hotel must have good quality cuisine and F&B services. And when we talk about good quality, we are talking about great expertise in making cuisine which comes from great good quality ingredients and F&B service ha will be of good quality if the staff is professionally trained. The staff must be trained and qualified as I mentioned in the previous step about the good quality and F&B service it's only possible if the staff is professionally trained and qualified. Efficient heating and cooling has to be provided in the room based on the seasonality. That means if it is winter, the, need, uh, the room need to be heated up and it, for summers, the, uh, the room need to be cooled down using the air conditioning and heating plants. All guest rooms should have a telecom facilities and they may be able to make telephone calls outside the hotels also. Arrangement for medical facility and assistance in case of need has to be there. there uh, this is a very, very important point because people from across the globe comes to the hotel and provision of medical facilities becomes very important in that case. Hotel must have, be environment friendly. Now, nowadays when the pollution and everything is, uh, which is detrimental to the environment is on a rise, hotels make sure that that they are environment friendly and in fact all classifications across the globe are done and they the licenses are also provided provided to the hotel only if they they follow the environment friendly practices 
the hotel should present authentic specially choreographed local entertainment to the guest now we're talking about heritage hotels and how are you going to display the heritage if do you do not promote the local art so you need to present authentic and specially choreographed local entertainment to the guests talking about the cuisine that will be a slight of a uh, slight revision from the previous part now in case of a lo uh, legacy vintage basic property it should be offering local traditional cuisine to all its guests in case of the legacy vintage classic properties the local traditional cuisine is mandatory obviously and there has to be four to five dishes prepared by professionally trained chef which are in close proximation to the uh, continental cuisine they may not be authentic but they may not be less also that's why they are called as close approximation now in case of legacy vintage brand properties traditional cuisine is always a must because we are talking about heritage here and cuisine is a very big part of heritage and of course now here we're talking about continental cuisine also so this has to be authentic and authentic continental cuisine can be prepared by authentically trained professional chefs well in the first part of the video we could not distinguish so much between the classic and the grand properties but here we i'm going to provide you some points of dis differences between these two so talking about the room size as i've already discussed the rooms have to be a double occupancy rooms so now these room sizes are excluding the bathroom sizes so if they are in square foot so the room sizes are are the legacy vintage basic properties minimum room size should be 130 square feet for two people legacy vintage classic the minimum room size should be 140 square feet and legacy legacy vintage grand the minimum room size for a double occupancy should be 200 square feet which is excluding the bathroom size all the rooms should have connected bathrooms in this case now size of the bathrooms are also in square feet so now let's see what are the size of the bathrooms in case of all the three categories for the legacy basic and legacy classic it is 36 square feet however the legacy vintage grand the bathroom size is 45 square feet well talking about the air conditioning so there is a bit of relaxation given to the legacy vintage basic property wherein the air conditioning has to be 50 percent whereas in legacy vintage classic and legacy vintage grand the air conditioning has to be 100 percent national council for hotel management and catering technology which is an undertaking under the ministry of tourism government of india produces a lot of trained manpower for hotel industry now this trained manpower can be accommodated as skilled manpower for classification of heritage properties also for this uh, the percentage of skilled staff for a legacy vintage basic property is 30 percent similar to the classic which is 30 percent however the legacy vintage grand property requires 60 percent skilled staff for the hotel to be classified under this category like the star classified hotels the legacy vintage categories must and necessarily has to have one room for differently able guests as per the similar criteria that were discussed in my earlier videos under star categories everything remains the same but these subcategories also must have one room available for differently able guests well that's all about the legacy vintage properties and the classification of them most of the criteria in the checklist remains similar to those that uh, of three star four star and five star properties however there were differences in the criteria which are discussed in this video thank you very much and stay safe